Ready to migrate your virtual machines to Google Cloud VMware Engine? Let's take a look at HCX. My name is Raj Jetnani with Google Cloud, and in this video, we're going to walk through how to deploy the HCX connector in your on-premises environment and pair it up with HCX Manager on the Google Cloud side in order to perform migration steps such as bulk migration, vMotion, or even network extensions. First thing we're going to do is walk through the environment here where we have our on-premises vCenter represented with the orange tab browser grouping as well as the Google Cloud VMware Engine vCenter represented with the blue tab. While on the cloud side vCenter, let's go to the menu option and select HCX from the dropdown. We'll head over to the administration option under system and this is where you can see what version of HCX you currently have deployed on the cloud side whether you have a remote HCX instance that's already paired with this instance, as well as the ability to request a download for the HCX connector. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and initiate the request for download and click on the VMware HCX icon in order to get the OVF deployed and downloaded on your local machine. Once this is complete, we're gonna switch over to your on-premises vCenter and from there select a cluster or resource pool and deploy the OVF. Now this wizard has been uh, sped up uh, for the purposes of shortening the video, but during this wizard, some key things to keep in mind, make sure that you have a DNS entry for your HCX connector VM so it can resolve itself and the rest of your infrastructure like your vCenter name, and whatever network you select that it has the capability to reach the VMware management components within your on-premises site, uh, and the next thing we're going to do here is fill in the rest of the fields, including the host name, passwords, uh, providing it an IP address, making sure that you put in the domain and DNS information that we're going to leverage, and of course the NTP server. Now, once the VM is deployed, you'll be able to reach the configuration page by opening a browser and going to the URL or IP address of the VM, but make sure to add colon 9443 at the end of it, as you can see on the screen. And you can now log in with the admin and the credentials that was specified during the OVF deployment. Once logged in, the first thing we're gonna do is activate HCX. In order for it to reach VMware's activation server, the connector does need to be able to reach port 443 on connect.hcx.vmware.com. And in order to get the license key, you can go to the GCV portal and under the HCX manager section, download the HCX activation key. So let's go ahead and do that and activate. Next thing we're gonna do is select which physical location our on-premises data center is located in and continue. And for the system name, it does add a dash enterprise to the end of that. Just to identify the system name, you can leave that as is, or I generally prefer removing that to match it up to the fully qualified domain name. Let's go ahead and restart and activate the configuration for HCX. Next, we're going to put in how we talk to vCenter itself, what username and permissions you want to use, what service account, for example. Let's go ahead and hit continue. Now in the identity source, you can reuse the same URL like your vCenter address, or if you have a separate PSC, make sure to put that in here. Once this is complete, go ahead and restart the services. This will take a few minutes for it to complete. Um, so be a little patient with it. And then you'll be greeted with a new screen that shows the configuration and state of the services for HCX. Now you should see plugins being deployed in your vCenter. You may have to refresh your browser to see it. But if you go to menu, you'll see HCX listed there and the dashboard will load. The next thing we're going to do is do a site pairing. So this will connect your on-prem HCX connector to the cloud HCX manager. First thing we're going to do is copy the HCX URL on the cloud side by going to the HCX manager under administration. You'll see system name and we can leverage that for the address. Go ahead and type in HTTPS and then add in the URL. Also make sure that your on-premises environment can resolve the cloud side management components by DNS name before doing this. Go ahead and type in the cloud owner username in our example here to pair the two sites. If you've already tied your Active Directory to Google Cloud VMware Engine, you can leverage permissions there as well for service accounts. And there we have it. We have our on-prem connector connected with our Google Cloud HCX management. 
Thanks for watching and for additional steps on how to configure the next components of HCX, continue watching the video series and you'll be able to get insight into how to configure a service mesh and perform a VM migration. To learn more about Google Cloud VMware Engine, visit our site at cloud.google.com slash VMware engine.